Hi, now here we have a question based on a ball falling freely to the ground and bouncing. So if you'd like to have a go at these two parts to the question, I haven't had a chance to read it, just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back I'll take you slowly through the work solution and you can check your methods and working against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So the first thing I'd want to do is just draw a diagram to illustrate what's been going on. So I'll take the ground there, okay, and we've got this ball that is released from rest. So I'll just show that as being released from rest by putting an arrow downwards and we'll just say that's zero. So here's the ball and it falls a distance of two meters. And then it hits the ground, we're told. This will be the first bounce here, so we'll just call that one. It will come down here, and we've got to find the speed of the ball at the instant before it strikes the ground for the first time. So let's suppose I just call that V as it hits the ground here. V1, that would be a good one, wouldn't that V1. And there's acceleration due to gravity, which acts downwards, which we'll take as g. g will be 9.8 meters per second per second. So for part a, what we'll do is we'll just look at part one here. And I'm going to take downwards as positive. And for a question like this, we've got to use the equations for constant acceleration, the SUVAT ones, okay? We've got to choose which one's going to be appropriate. So I put the variables down in the usual way, S for displacement, U for initial velocity, V for final velocity, A for acceleration, and T for time. So which ones do we have? Well, we've got the displacement we're told that it's going to be two meters remember it's in the positive sense so that's going to be two u the initial velocity was zero v well that's what we're trying to find the acceleration well that's going to be positive g as it acts downwards in the positive sense as for time t well we're not interested in that okay so i can leave that out. We haven't got a value for t anyway, okay? So all we need is an equation that connects these variables. And the one that we're going to use is going to be v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So we've got that v squared would equal, well that's going to be zero if u is uh, zero. So v squared would be just equal to 2as. So we can take the square root of this, so v would be equal to the root of 2 times a, which is g, times s, which is 2. So in other words, this is the square root of all of 4g. And you could leave it like that, I suppose, or you could work it out on your calculator and get 6.260 and so on which rounded, say, to three significant figures is going to be 6.26 meters per second. And I'll just put there 3SF, okay? So that's part A. Now, for the next part, part B, we're told to find the speed of the ball at the instant after it rebounds from the ground for the first time. So... What's happening now is that the ball will leave here, okay, we'll say that this is U2, and it's going to rise and come to instantaneous rest. So it rises to a point, say, here, where this distance is 1.5 meters. So just mark that in there as 1.5 meters. So to get this, again, we've got to uh, look at this diagram now. We'll call it two, and we can start with part B and from diagram two. What have we got? Well, we've got the displacement, S. I'm going to take upwards as positive now. It's up to you, but I would always suggest taking the positive sense now from the initial velocity here. It's in the upward direction. So 
S will be 1.5, so that's going to be equal to 1.5. Obviously, if you take downwards as positive, this is going to be negative 1.5. Then we've got U, U, the initial velocity, that's what we're trying to find. And we've got V, the final velocity, that's zero. Now you've got acceleration, and the acceleration is going to be negative G. Remember, we're taking upwards as positive, so that's negative G. Be careful there. But if you do take downwards as positive, S would be minus 1.5, remember, and A would be just G, okay? Then we've got T. Well, we're not interested in that, so we can leave that. So again, from these variables that we've got here, I would want to use v squared equals u squared plus 2as again. This time, we know that v is 0, so we've got, therefore got 0 equals u squared. Well, we're trying to find that. So that's u squared plus 2 times a, which is minus g, times s, which is 1.5. So here we've got minus 3g, and if I add that to both sides, u squared would equal 3g, and if I root both sides, u would be equal to the square root then of 3g. So you could leave it like that in exact form, or you could work it out on your calculator, and you should find you get 5.422 and so on. And writing this to three significant figures, it's going to be 5.42 and that would be metres per second to three significant figures, 3SF for short. Okay?